The UAW strike against the big three continues. This is day four after the union ordered workers at three sites to walk off the job early Friday morning. Talks are said to have made progress over the weekend, but union president Sean Fain says that progress is slow. He is using a different strike strategy than his immediate predecessors, ordering walkouts at all three companies, but on a limited and very targeted basis. The local economist tonight gives his impressions of that strategy and its perceived effectiveness. Around 13,000 of our members are on strike. Right now, targeting just three plants, Ford's Michigan Assembly in Wayne, Stellantis's Toledo Assembly in Ohio, and GM's Wentzville Assembly in Missouri. And depending on what happens as we continue bargaining, more may be joining them really soon. UAW President Sean Fain at a rally in Detroit Friday speaking about his stand-up strike approach to this walkout. It's a strategy that Fain says will keep the automakers guessing. If they target these key plants, that will hit the company's profits hard. University of Michigan Flint economics professor Chris Douglas acknowledging the union hopes that forces more favorable offers from the companies. But he says the strategy also benefits the union. By targeting key plants rather than a general strike that employs the entire membership, the UAW is able to preserve its strike fund. The UAW is said to have roughly 145,000 members across GM, Ford and Stellantis and $835 million in its strike fund. At $500 a week per striking member, that would total $72.5 million a week, depleting that fund in less than three months. On the initial choice to strike three final assembly plants versus walking out at parts plants, Douglas says that's likely tied to a desire to have an immediate impact on profits. If you target the assembly plants, well, that becomes impossible to manufacture cars, which causes the company to lose profits perhaps earlier. The companies remain at the bargaining table, but they're also taking action. Ford has laid off 600 union workers at Michigan Assembly, and GM announced its Fairfax Assembly plant may go idle in the coming days due to the current walkouts. It's something not lost on at least one worker at Friday's rally. They told us supposed to be solidarity, and you put the other half the plan out getting paid, and then half of us ain't getting paid. We really need to get paid. How are we surviving? Worker survival is what Fain says the negotiations are all about. We're going to hit where we need to hit, and when we need to hit, we're going to hit to move mountains. Now, the three plants union members are striking right now all produce popular trucks and SUVs, which Chris Douglas says just happen to be models that generate the most profits for the companies. That could mean additional plants here in Michigan, particularly in Flint and Warren, could be next on the union's list.